Hi, I'm Greg Ogilvy from California Veterinary Specialists. We want to talk about how you can prevent cancer in your pet and maybe even you. Cancer is the most common cause of death in dogs and in cats, and it's a, a major problem in people. So rather than treating cancer, we'd rather prevent it. So what you do for yourself, you also do for your pet and vice versa. One of the major causes of cancer is genetics. Do you know that genetics can increase your risk of developing cancer? And that's definitely true, and you wanna make appropriate choices for pets that come into your household. For example, we know that golden retrievers have a high risk of cancer, we love them, but 56.6% of golden retrievers die of cancer. Flat-coated retrievers and Bernese mountain dogs have an even higher probability of developing cancer. So selecting mixed breed dogs allows us to be able to not only help animals in need, but it also gives you a pet that has a low risk of developing cancer. The second thing that is really important is actually the environment. We know that passive smoking is a big deal for ourselves. We know we shouldn't handle any tobacco related products, but it's also important for our pets and our children. So the bottom line, avoiding passive smoke, environmental pollutants, uh, electromagnetic radiation, and a number of other things just like that is very, very important for reducing cancer, not only in our pets, but also ourselves. Third thing that's really important as well is nutrition. That means lifetime nutrition. Keeping your weight down and your dog's weight or your cat's weight down throughout their life reduces the risk not only of arthritis, diabetes, cognit cognitive dysfunction, but also cancer. So, so we can uh, reduce the risk of cancer by ensuring that we have a good body weight throughout our life. That means you need to get out there with your pet to exercise, to be able to have fun, and it not only helps you and your pet keep their, your weight down, but it also reduces a number of other uh, of diseases such as cancer. Finally, looking about what you eat, because what you eat really influences your health and wellness and that of your pet. You know you should be eating diets that are relatively low in simple carbohydrates, that have good quality protein, that are have minimal amounts of red meats and red meat fats, and also I have enhanced amount of N3 fatty acids. The quality of the food that you eat really enhances your health and wellness. So one thing we wanna do is not have to deal with cancer, we wanna prevent it. And that's what you can do for you and your pet together. It's called Fitness Unleashed. So what you do for your pet helps you. So let's prevent cancer Join us in this march so that we can have fewer pets with cancer and also fewer people with cancer as well. So this is Greg Ogilvie, California Veterinary Specialist. Have a good, healthy life.